Okay, so let's look at the uh, layers assignment and go through it together. SketchUp allows you to create drawings using layers, which means items assigned to a layer number can be turned on and off. Now, as your drawing becomes more complex and um, cluttered, um, this is going to be a really uh, handy tool to use. So it says when you turn on the program, you're using layer 0, which cannot be hidden. To access the layer option, click on the window icon, then layers. So let's go over to uh, SketchUp right here. If we scroll down, make sure that we have layers. It should be right there. If you do not have layers, go up to here. Default tray, make sure you've checked off layers. Okay. So if we go back to our... So it says... We're going to have layers for the following. Furniture slash furniture kitchen, doors, window measurements, and labels. So let's fill those out. Okay, now we can pick any one of those to be drawn in layer zero. So, un although it says the walls and floor will be layer zero, which makes sense because that's going to be the first thing that we do. So what you can do is, so 15 by 15 is the size. Now, a lot of the other sizes, I'm not going to be really um, particular about. So let's start with our rectangle. Click, we'll go 15 feet, comma, 15 feet. Okay. I'm going to orbit this and I'm going to tilt it. Okay. Now we need layers for furniture. The kitchen door window okay so let's add those layers to do that we're going to click on this so and then we're going to type in furniture enter kitchen enter door slash window enter dimensions and label okay okay so that particular dimension is pretty difficult to see so I'm going to just suggest making it four inches so I'm going to use my offset click on that just go in with your mouse do not click type four now this is going to be a little different. Quotations. Enter. Okay. Now that's the first wall is going to be located six feet six and a half inches from the top. So what you can do is you can use your measuring tape. And you can just type in six feet, six point five inches, and it's going to leave a mark like so. And in terms of distance over, I'm going to go half. It does not specify what the distance is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my pencil along here go like so and that's going to tell me my halfway point click click let's just go pencil straight go four inches enter okay now we've got our basic house And everything was drawn in that first layer. Okay. Now, if you want to draw something in a, another layer, let's say furniture, let's do the table and chairs. This is what we're going to have to do. So, we're going to now have to click on furniture. And if you were to look at the visibility chart and you were to put a check mark on and off, you can turn layers on and off. So let's quickly, we're drawing in the furniture layer. Let's draw our table, like so. And 
I'm going to do a circle here for a chair. I'm going to do three chairs. I personally am going to make this a component. You do not have to. I just think it will make it a little easier. And I'm going to use the move option. I'm going to go click over there and then I'm going to go slash 2 which is very similar to um, assignment 2 that we we worked on together so slash 2 again okay so you've got your furniture now if we want to do 3d text so let's do our, our label and let's go over here and they want table and chairs that's gonna be in there so let's go up to tools uh, let's go down to 3d text and let's just type in table and chairs and place that okay so it's 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 got it situated like so. Now if you want to change that orientation, go to rotate anywhere on it, click once, go out so it's green, that means it's straight, and then go straight up. Now if you're having difficulty orientating it, you're going to be moving it 90 degrees. Just type in 90 and there you go. Let's go back over to here put it on the table now it's obviously too big so we're gonna go up to tools scale we're gonna make this smaller just like that okay now that shows you how to create your layers it shows you how to manipulate the different layers by turning them on and off it also shows you how to identify the layers um, that everything's in. Now in the event that you accidentally put something in the wrong layer, what you just need to do is let's say the table and chairs, you just right click on it, entity info is going to pop up over here on the right hand side. It actually will identify the layer. Let's say we accidentally created that in the furniture layer. We got going on furniture. Um, all you have to do is pick the layer that you want to put it in and it'll reassign it, the layer okay so if you start building let's say the table and chairs and you throw up the text and you don't want to redo the text you just go right click identity info okay now that should get you started on that assignment